Kamala Harris. Have you heard of her? <laughs> you know, I had the first debate, and after that, Biden was down 21 points. And they went to him and they said, you're going to lose, you can't win, you're out. This is a coup, by the way. He had f this guy had 14 million votes. We're going to put in somebody else. The last person was going to be Kamala Harris, but then they decided to be politically correct, and she got the job. She was the last one. There were 14 people mentioned. She was number 15, and she got the job. And if you saw her with Oprah the other day, or if you saw some of these interviews, there's something going on up there. We just had four years of that. We can't have another four years. Not going to happen. But she is offering to companies to entice them to keep jobs in America instead of shipping jobs overseas. First, she wants to listen to this. She's called the tax queen. They love her in other countries because she forces everybody out of our country into their hands. The tax queen is demanding a 33% tax hike on all domestic production. Now, you know, you can hate companies and all that, but they still, they fuel growth and they fuel jobs, they fuel everything. You tell these companies, they don't care. They just assume being in Europe, they just assume they don't care. They want to go best price, it's called, best deal. And they're going to leave our country in droves if she does that. It's nice to say, you're going to pay 33% more. And one day you'll read, oh, gee, so-and-so, they just signed with uh, China. They just signed with Germany. They just signed with uh, Great Britain is dying to have. They'll give you free tax. Next, she wants the largest capital gains tax in the history of our country. We've never had a tax. So. And then she's telling people, build your place here, but we're going to have a brand new wealth confiscation tax. So if you make money, <laughs> you're going to pay us a lot. But more importantly, it's called an unrealized capital gain. You know what that is? That means that you're going to pay a capital gain even if you haven't realized it, even if you haven't sold. So a lot of people are rich, but they don't have cash. Now they're going to have to get cash because if their thing goes up in value, they have to pay a massive tax. You're going to have deterioration. You're going to have a depression. If that happens, you have a 1929-style depression. This woman is grossly incompetent. Grossly incompetent. <laughs>